So, all right, so we're gonna run Pumpkin Invasion here. Now, I know some people were asking, like, how do you get the treasure in Pumpkin Invasion? The answer to that question is, how do I get lucky? I don't know. I wish I, I wish I knew. I, I honestly wish I knew. If it was that easy, I think everybody would uh, presumably do it. But here's here's the gambler's logic, right? The, the only should you do this when the treasure is more than ten thousand. Does it then go? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. You know, well, my argument is, go up to three hundred. That's the real treasure. This daily chest, that is the treasure, guys. That is the treasure you want to aim for for your pumpkin charm thing by jiggers, right? That's what you want. And then you don't want to go any further. <laughs> you want to be done for the day. Take my two cents on this, okay? The likelihood that you're going to win the 7,000 and counting pot is very slim. The only guaranteed jackpot that you're going to hit is that 300 count, okay? And I, for one, prefer the 300 count than a bunch of wasted candies. Obviously, when we get to the last day, does it then make sense to dump all of the candies, guys? But if you want my two cents, that is what I recommend you do on that. Because otherwise, you're just wasting candies, in my opinion. You could conceivably be missing out on some extra loot. But, you know, that may be a me problem, because I, I usually you know, get through a certain amount of candies. Like now I've already done all of my, you know, I can't get candies from stamina anymore, basically. And now the only way I can get any candies is if I'm spending gems or if I'm spending speed ups. Eventually one of the two are going to cost money at some point. <laughs> and this is the other issue is how is this not pay to win? Well, it is pay to win. It always was. It always is. But I will tell you that there is a way to game this as a free to play player. And the way to do that is just to basically listen and heed to my advice and saying that go to 300 and stop because it resets every day. So if you want to really make the most of it, then that is the way to do it. Now, if you're concerned that oh, I'm not going to rank, I'm not going to level, I'm not going to... Okay, but if you're free to play, you are never going to anyway. Now, if you're pay to win, that's like a whole different situation. That's like, uh, oh, well, it's just whoever's wallet's bigger at that point. You know, which, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I don't really think that's a problem for most people, but, you know, heed my warning. Now, just like this. Okay, I'm done. Take my loot. I'm done. That's it for the day. <laughs> I will wait until the drops are in. And even now, like I've now got the maximum rewards that I can for this gathering. So even now it's like, okay, now there's really no incentive to go any further. Well, one thing you do want to pay attention to here is the current event. You know, like right now it's hero gear. So if you can upgrade your gear, you're going to get some extra, you know, reward for it, which in my case, I just happen to have some pieces of gear that I can upgrade. So we'll just go ahead and upgrade my gear here. We'll enhance what I got over here. And, you know, is that going to be enough? Probably not, but, eh, you know, it's, it's enough to make me feel better. Um, so we'll just go ahead and grab all this stuff. And we'll look and see here. So, oh yeah, look, yeah, see, and now we get all those extra candies for nothing. We rank at 14, and I didn't even try. And we're good to go for the next, you know, 300. Now we've got 2,500, and we're ready to go for the next time. Of course, make sure you're doing your trick-or-treats. You know, these are pretty straightforward. You just want to open the doors. You may even get lucky and get an event where you've got to pick up all the candies. You want to avoid the bugs. Um, and then, of course, you want to make sure you're sharing them with your alliance and getting all the extra stuff. Again, like I said, Sugar Storm is really straightforward. You just want to gather. And that's, like, the only other thing where I can get candies from. So now I'm just sending out my meat gatherers. And that's all they're doing. And, of course, you know, if you didn't already know, you can actually expedite that ever so slightly by getting this active. And I, I my rotation is to basically turn these on every day. And then just send out meat gatherers. Obviously, you want to try to avoid doing that during, like, a SVS or, you know. And this is just for any future context, right? If you're brother in arms, vice versa, you know, obviously don't want to do it in the middle of that. But uh, that is really kind of the main gist of 
the Halloween event, as far as I'm concerned. Now, you might have picked up on the gloomy castle decoration, and if you take a look at it, you'll notice that it increases troop attack. And when you upgrade it, you've, you know, at level six, you get this little, you know, you go basically from this to that. So it's a little bigger house, a little bit of tweaks with a cat on it, right? See how you, you got a cat here, right? But now you've got like a little bit more decoration, a little bit more stuff, right? You go to level 10, and then it becomes real apparent. And again, this is for the pay to win, because again, you're going to get troop attack bonuses for having this Daybreak Castle, but it's $10 just to grab one of these. So as you might imagine, that is a substantial amount of stats for the super beta wins, but for normies like the rest of us, that is not something you should probably bother unless you just want to have a cool little decoration that you sit on the side of a house somewhere and you can say, hey, look at me, I've got a $10 house on my, made a, you know, made my, my day. You know, if that's, if that cranks your trigger, then you know, all the power to you, but as far as War Academy goes, um, my only advice here is convert over your shards. And about all you can really do is get the maximum number of shards that you can get and upgrade it. I prefer going down the infantry route, and I only say this because I feel like infantry are the ones that tank all the marches, and therefore they're the ones that are going to get hit the most, and therefore they're the ones that I'll ultimately wind up being the most useful in, in a rally, you know. But on the same token, you know, if you're going around and attacking glares a lot, eh, the argument could be made for any one of these. And obviously the people that upgrade these and get them all the way, it's not a cheap feat at all, one bit. So obviously want to try and maximize the most you can through the laboratory and wherever else you can get fire crystals. But that said, guys, that is pretty much all I have for you today. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.